By now, I'm sure we are all very familiar with the idea that Reels can help you grow on Instagram. In an effort to compete with TikTok, Instagram is pushing Reels really hard. They're recommending them in the algorithm because they want you to spend time watching them. They are trying so hard right now to capture back the attention they have lost to TikTok. So because of that, it can be very advantageous as a creator to start making reels because at this point on Instagram, there is a huge demand for reels, at least an artificial demand that Instagram is creating by pushing this type of content to everybody. But there is a relatively low supply because not a lot of people have fully adopted it yet. I mean, it's certainly grown over the past six months or so, but a lot of people have still not tried it or really put a lot of time into creating reels just yet. And so therefore, because of this discrepancy between the demand that Instagram has created and the lack of supply, it means that for people who do take the chance and make reels, it can be a really, really great opportunity to get lots and lots of views. Speaking of lots and lots of views, not every single reel is gonna pop off, but there is a little bit of method to this madness. And so in this video, I wanna talk you through my most successful reels including ones that have gotten over 100,000 views. By the way, I have an account with 20,000 followers. And when I posted some of these, I had even less followers. So it just goes to show how huge your reach can be when you try reels. And so I'm gonna take you through a deep dive, analyzing these successful reels and trying to pull out some lessons that I can take and that you can take home as well into creating your own reels. Because I really believe the key to success on Instagram is experimentation and analyzing your results. So today we're all gonna sit down and analyze my results so that hopefully we can I'll take something away from this to create even more successful content going forward. Hello, hello, hello. It's great to see you on this fine day. I am personally absolutely riding high today. I'm so excited, partially because this morning I just discovered that Nick Jonas has a new album out and I was listening to it while I got ready and it has just completely revolutionized my mood, but also because I've been looking forward to this day all week because this evening it's finally gonna be warm enough out for me to go and spray film my van. If you're new here or if you just haven't heard me talk about it before, I am alongside my husband Dan converting a utility van into a camper, which I'm super, super excited about. And you probably never thought that you'd see me talking about how excited I am about spray foam on this channel, but here we are. Anyway, I, I'm just pumped. It's springtime. We're working on the van. It's a great time. Let me know if you'd be interested in hearing more about van life stuff. I know that is definitely not what this channel is about, but as you know, I am starting to share more lifestyle content on Fridays in addition to my Instagram tips on Tuesdays. So if you'd be interested in hearing about van life at all in those Friday videos, let me know. I'm really debating between like committing just full out to a second channel and making that all about the van or continuing to kind of make this channel a little bit more like variety content. So we'll see. There's what the heart wants and then there's what the algorithm wants, so. Anyway, today's question of the day though is not about vans. I want to hear from you in the comments right now. Are you watching reels on Instagram and are you making reels on Instagram? I'm so curious about this because personally, I make a lot of reels as we're gonna get into in the video, but I actually don't spend a lot of time watching reels. Sometimes I will watch reels for a little bit to do some market research, but for the most part, I spend a lot of time on TikTok and that's where I get my ideas from. So I'm just really curious to hear from y'all. Are you watching reels? Are you watching TikTok? Have you tried posting reels yet? A pause the video and let me know in the comments. All right, let's take a tour through my most successful reels. We're going to look at my Instagram profile, look at the reels that have gotten the most views, and we're gonna talk about what they did well, how they could have done better, and what features do I think are contributing to them succeeding in the algorithm. And I think that there's gonna be a lot of interesting insights we can all take away from this. All right, welcome to my Instagram profile. Let's go over to a little reels tab and scroll on back to, speaking of van life, this little ditty that I made last summer. Girl, don't do it. It's not worth it. I'm not gonna do it, girl. I was just thinking about it. 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 Girl, don't okay. do it. It's so anyway, as you can see, this has been a long time coming for me, but uh, this is one of my most popular reels. As you can see, it has almost 200,000 views. It has over 8,000 likes. 
and about 50 comments. This is also a really interesting trend that we'll see with reels as we go through. They don't tend to get a ton of comments. I think you'll see a lot of likes and a lot of views, but hardly anybody takes the time to comment on reels. Part of that I think is, if you'll notice when you're scrolling, the like button as well, like I think this is in general why reels get lower engagement, just as a caveat before we get into this, the like button, the comment button and stuff is on the left hand side of the screen. Whereas like if you're on TikTok, you'll know like all the engagement stuff is right where like your right thumb would go on the screen. So it's very easy to quickly engage. Whereas with this, I have to, you know, try to reach my thumb all the way over across the screen to hit like. So anyway, that's just a design comment that I think is contributing to lower engagement on reels because right now all Instagram really cares about is that you keep on scrolling. So why did this reel perform so well? I think because it was playing on an existing trend on TikTok at the time, a trend that still really exists now, but that audio of, I'm not gonna do a girl, I'm just thinking about it. And I think it also was tapping into something that's like very relatable. A lot of people are like, oh, maybe I will become a van lifer and like, move away from all of the, you know, terrible things about life or whatever, especially like last summer, I feel like that was a vibe. Another reason why I think this did so well, to be totally honest, is I posted that within like a week of Reels being released as a new platform on Instagram. So at that point there was definitely a huge deficit of content. And so it was easier to go viral back then. That being said though, I do still think this Reel is proof of the fact that if you capitalize on existing TikTok trends that are performing well on TikTok, it most likely will perform well on Instagram too. I have a lot of other examples that we'll get into later that aren't quite as like viral level, but they have a good amount of views and I think it's because it's using a TikTok trend. Coming back closer to present day, let's check out another reel that recently performed really well. This one has 136,000 views. Let's give it a watch. Obviously with different music than the original because um, copyright. Okay, cool. Honestly, this one performed way better than I like ever thought that it would uh, because it's just one of these standard, like I'm kind of grooving to the music. I'm pointing to text showing up around me. It doesn't seem all that exciting, but honestly, I have found that these kinds of reels like really go hard. Like, I don't know why, but people love this shit to <laughs> like people. I, I find myself stopping to look too. like the few times that I do scroll on reels when I come across somebody doing the pointy thing, I'm like, Oh, uh, like, okay. Yeah. What are you telling me? I want to know what these facts are. I think part of it is that when you offer people really quick wins, people really take that in and engage with it and watch it to the end because it's like, okay, this is stuff I can actually implement today. Like I have another one that did really well. That was me like pointing to different apps that I use in my business. And that's another like just a listicle style video that is so easy to make, but I actually think really, really impactful because it's just so easy to take value from that. My personal theory about this, like now that I'm thinking about it is I feel like at the time when reels launched, there was a little bit of this sort of trope happening on TikTok. I remember probably about last summer, there was a big thing where people would like point around and there would be texts showing up so quickly. And I think that was a big trend on TikTok at the time. And when Reels launched, you know, obviously TikTok still has huge impact on what's happening on Reels. But I feel like that sort of trend just kept sticking around. And now it's like the thing to do on Reels. I think also part of it is that less people listen with audio on reels than they do on TikTok. So I don't know, those are just some thoughts as to why this format does so well, but I'm telling you, make a few videos like that and you will see results because they just seem to work. Even though it feels so basic, it feels so lazy to make videos like this. And I definitely did not see it coming that this one would pop off so well, but I'm telling you combination of quick wins and this format of reels seems to do well. I also think that that's the exact kind of content that a lot of people come to me for on Instagram. Like people love like Instagram tips and like really actionable ones as well. So I feel like that one performed well for that reason. And going back in time again to the very beginning of reels, let's check out another one of my most popular ones. This one has 131,000 views. We won't play the music again because of content ID. Um, but 
Clearly it's just me um, showing off all the bathing suits that I got from Aerie last year, which I freaking love. They're all so cute. Um, and then just sort of like lamenting the fact that the summer was not going to be like a regular summer, which I think is high key relatable. Like I think we all very much felt that way at the time. Um, and also I feel like people, people on Instagram love like body confidence content. Um, like at least the people who follow me do. I feel like honestly I should do more of that. Like I've kind of gotten out of the practice of it, but I should, I should. Let's be real, like it, it, wearing a bathing suit or doing like an underwear pic, like they always get lots of engagement on Instagram. Like not that that's a hack, but it's a hack. Um, but like, and you know, whatever, like in a way I'm like, oh, we'll do it for the right reasons. But I'm like, whatever, do it for your reasons. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like post whatever you want, looking however you want, it's totally up to you. I think that this really popped off because of the level of relatability. Like we all understood the vibe of like, oh, summer's not gonna be what we thought it was gonna be. And then also people love the body confidence content. So I think that that is really what contributed to that virality. Also, this was one of my first few reels that I posted and um, not a lot of people were posting reels at the time. So I think that really helped. Those are my top three most popular reels. And I think they tell us a lot about what performs well and what can get you a lot of views and therefore a lot of followers on reels. But I wanted to go through quickly and look at a few honorable mentions and just talk about my other reels that don't necessarily go crazy viral, but have a really great impact nonetheless. As you can see, as we go through here, a lot of my reels tend to get anywhere between 5,000 to like 10,000 views. I would view anything getting over 10,000 views as outperforming or like doing particularly well. So let's look at a couple examples. This one here is just me literally talking to the camera, talking about how I schedule my reels using later. I think this is a really sweet hack. And what I found interesting about this one is I always thought that, okay, talking to camera ones won't do that well on reels. Like they seem to perform okay on TikTok, but I just didn't think that was the vibe. But I think because I was sharing something super actionable and I had a lot of different cuts happening and I use captions, that is very, very important. I think that allowed it to perform as well as it did. And just because it was a really actionable tip, I think that that also really helped. Speaking of just talking to the camera, I had another one here where I was just sort of like giving advice. Oh, this one. This one has 14K views, which is pretty good. And again, this one is just me like talking about an idea to the camera. I'm just sort of like, you need to focus on your target audience and not just think about how you wanna represent yourself. How can you like provide for your audience? And that seemed to really resonate with people. So sometimes I think just giving really straight to the point advice, I think that can help too. Like I think that there's not a lot of people just talking to their camera on reel. So maybe that can actually help you stand out. And again, speaking of before using trends from TikTok, this one has 16,000 views and it's me using that like, you know, Martina, you're ready, whatever audio that, from TikTok that everybody knows. And it was really going viral at the time. And that one seemed to perform well. Also ones that I do that are like more visual, like this one that I did where it's sort of a composite of me showing myself like filming, editing, being on camera. I think that that's really unique compared to what you see on Reels a lot. So I think if you go the extra mile to create really interesting visual content, that can also help you outperform because like a lot of people aren't taking the effort to create that sort of stuff. Okay, here's another great one that um, again is a TikTok trend that seemed to perform well for me. And it's just me like falling all over my apartment. But yeah, it was uh, a trend at the time with like Halo playing in the background. So people love the TikTok trends. Like if you see something going viral on TikTok, it's because people engage with it. It's because it's funny and it also helps like if people recognize a trend then they are able to understand what you're communicating so much faster. So in general, just hop on those TikTok trends. Like don't be afraid to try it. Even if it makes you look a little silly, does not matter. It's gonna, it's gonna help you get the views, the views. What else is it about? I'm kidding. It's about more than just that, but other like visual ones that seem to have done well for me are when I share different like photo poses. I think this is a popular format. I've seen other creators do. Again, it's quick wins. It gives you like an idea for how you can pose in your Instagram photos and it's highly visual and just, I think a cute style. So I have a few like that that have done really well. 
If we go way back in the day for a while, I was posting these like Pinterest, but make it mid-sized outfits where I would like find outfits on Pinterest that were like shown on like a thin body and then put it on myself. And those actually did really well. Like I have like 30 to 40,000 views on a lot of them. I kind of stopped doing it because it was a lot of work TBH, but now I feel like I should probably try it again. In January and February of 2021, I think I was so like hyper-focused on just creating content and growth and reels and niching down. And it did serve me well. I was able to grow like over 4,000 followers in those two months, which is really, really fast growth for me. But I'm sort of starting to feel a little bit of burnout with that and feeling like it's time for me to again, reevaluate the strategy and see what I can do to kind of take that next step forward. And I feel like this is a natural thing. Like I think it's sort of good to check in once a quarter or so and think about how can I do things differently? What would be the most creative and life-giving to me at the time? And I think right now I'm just like feeling it that creating that many reels every month, it's a lot of work and I want to keep doing it, but I think I need to find ways to do it. That's going to be really fun and creative for me. And uh, yeah, just always experiment. Cause y'all know if you're watching the channel, you know that I love to try new things, see how it does on my Instagram. And then I tell you all if it works or not, and then you can apply it to your Instagram. So I'll be the guinea pig for everybody. We'll see how it goes. And I think it's always just an ongoing journey of figuring out how can we optimize our growth, but also optimize our mental health, our happiness and being creative and having fun with it. Um, because that is really important at the end of the day. That's why a lot of us get started. So we can't just become reels factories. We need to make sure that we like what we're doing. And that's going to be the next iteration here. The next thing that we're going to start exploring, but I still do think there's a lot of lessons that we can take away from these reels and apply them to hopefully fun and creative content that we can make that will also do well in the reels algorithm. If you like this video and you want to learn more about reels, I have this super, super in-depth tutorial that you can check out. And I basically show you step-by-step -step how I create all these videos. So if you're looking at some of these screen recordings and you're like, girl, how do you even make that? This video is gonna teach you how. So make sure you check that out. And if you haven't already, check out some of the lifestyle content that I post on my channel. I think that you might find this video interesting. And uh, as always, I hope you're having adventures and following your dreams and I will see you in the next video. Bye.